In this video, we're going to create a simple moving average crossover strategy within the FX Pro Quant tool. You can see the chart here on the MT4 platform. We have two moving averages. The red is the slow 200 period moving average. The yellow is the faster 50 period moving average. So to create this strategy, we need first our moving averages in the FX Pro Quant. Let's drag two over from the indicators list here. Double click and let's rename them. Fast MA for the fast one, 50 period. Slow MA for the slower one, the 200 period. Now, rather than set the periods here, which have defaulted, this is defaulted to 14, we can set them as an external variable so we can change them and optimize them. Let's go to input and drag over two number inputs. Again, let's rename this to fast and a period. Slow MA period. Remember our slow was 200 and our fast was 50. Let's link this over to here. It has a number. It says, What do you want to do with this number? We want to set that as the period. Same here. Let's link this number to the period. So the slow MA is now linked to the slow MA period. Now, as in the chart, we need to compare these two values. So let's go into logic and drag over a compare node. You can rename this or you can keep it as it is. I'll rename it to fast above slow. We then need to link the fast MA to this node and set the fast as value 1. Link the slow and set that as value 2. So we're looking for the fast MA to be greater or equal to the slow MA. We now need to sort out the trades that happen when fast is above slow. Let's go to trade. Let's pull over a close position because when fast is above slow, we'll close a sell trade if there's one in place. At the same time, we'll open the position, which would be a buy position. Let's link this. Let's set the magic index to 1. The reason for that is we need to link the closed sell trade to the sell trade I'm going to put below. It will become clear in a minute. And there's our buy. We won't set any of these stop loss and take profit because at the moment we're keeping it as a close and reverse. You can see if no sell orders remains true. Now to drag over a closed position node for when the opposite is true. When that is the case, we'll be closing a buy trade. And when the opposite is true, we also need to open a position when the fast goes below the slow, and that will be double click sell. Remember the magic index of our sell was one, so to ensure that these two are linked, and to do that, we need to change the magic index to 1. We need to change buy to sell. Keep if no orders to true, like so. Let's click on the line, set this to true. So reverse output. So if the opposite holds true, we go down here.
and linking this as well. Magic index number remains zero. Again, we change reverse output is true. So it is fast, it's not above slow, and the opposite is true. We'll go here, we'll close the buy trade, and we'll open a sell trade. The way we've set this up here is a close and reverse strategy. So going back to our chart, we close our buy position here and enter a reverse sell position. Of course, you could open a position here with take profit and stop loss in line with your risk parameters. That's the alternative strategy, and if so, you can just set those within your trade modes here.